Hiya. Right, I've been a busy bee. Uh, I've got quite a lot done actually. I haven't had a chance to film it all because basically I've been busy. Um, but um, I'm going to show you around what I've actually done in a moment. I'm doing some electrics today, which I'll um, show you what I'm doing as well. Uh, some of it I've already done, so I'll show you what I've done, how I've done it, why I've done it. Um, I'll be able to show you in a few moments. Okay, I've been very busy today, so the kitchen's already been done. We've got the uh, electrics all sorted as well now. That all works fine. Cabin lights. Got the switches, switch it on. All the lights come on as you can see. Finished doing all the lighting as well. And we've got a nice new sofa bed in place which is very comfortable got rid of some of all the junk ready for the summer as well obviously with the lights on here got a big cut off switch that turns them all off in one go so we've got all the lights in they're working pretty well I'll let you have a little look of course the lights are on now but look how dark it is when they're not on <gasps> on in the kitchen on in the living room off and on also the bathroom is working a treat as well on and off oh don't know if I've shown you already but we've got a nice little sink unit as well now it's not plumbed in or anything yet but that will get done in due course so no, we couldn't fit it in through this door here wouldn't fit but if we lifted it from the ground all the way up to the very top of the roof, twist it slightly, we managed to force it in. So that was a mission. I did lose my temper a bit, but we got it in eventually. But overall, really happy with the lights now. We can see them at night time. Can't wait to finish the rest of the boat. Oh, and there's the sofa with the lovely Lauren relaxing. So for those of you who are interested, these are the lights that we've used on the boat. Um, they're 24 LEDs inside there. They're very, very shallow, so they sit in the roof area quite easily. Bought them off eBay. They're a fairly decent price. Uh, worked out individually because I bought them in, in, in bulk of about $6.99 each, which a bit worried that uh, that sounded too cheap, but actually they've turned out really, really well. Now, what I use for connecting the uh, the wires up in, in the scene were these these little connections here. They're called Wago. Now they do quite a few different ones, uh, but these are the ones that we decided to use. So you can basically have one for each positive, one for each negative. So you can have wire going in, wire going out to the lamp, then another wire moving on to the next light. So we use these across the whole boat. They can be used up to 240 volt. Don't think I would use them for 240 volt, but they are very very good and they snap in and hold the wires really tight. Good thing is they can be reused. So if I wired it wrong, which I did a couple of times, I could just unclip it, put it back in. It was really easy to use up high, up in the roof. Okay, guys, like I said, I'm going to show you a few things that we've done um, on the boat so far. I think some of the stuff you may have already seen, some of the stuff you certainly haven't seen. So obviously, first of all, is um, located the kitchen. It is a temporary kitchen, as I said before, because the fridge that's here is going to be going over that side. And this um, wood burner is going to go up here and it's going to be all tiled. So that'll be done probably October time I think that's the current plan plans always change with uh, having hundreds of kids like I have got a nice new sofa bed in there which is blooming comfortable um, which gives some more space up here obviously we've got a table and chairs which we are basing here most of the time now apart from when we want to be outside or when Stanley's up with us then we need to make that into a bed area uh, but that's that one of the best things I think I showed you the lights already but I've got all the control panel up now as well so Got all this, this is the, 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 the main fuse board. Um, so when I put the cabin lights on, that's my master switch. None of them work until I actually use the switches. They all work on. Good thing is, as I'm leaving, if I forget to leave a light on, doesn't matter because I'm gonna make sure all these are turned off when I leave. So even if I leave a light on, that's gonna cut them completely out. So we're good there. Bilge pump's all plumbed in. Um, haven't actually wired it in yet, um, but the battery tester is as well. So that's all wired in and all working absolutely fine. Nice little cupboard. If you can see, I've done it as neatly as I possibly can so that we can keep opening and closing it. Once I put all the wire in, I'm gonna feed it through like a little eye hole there just to keep them even more neater, but I'm trying to keep it as neat as possible. Because there's only more wires coming in, I wanna kinda of get all the wires in first and clamp them up. The reason I've got this extra wire here is because that switch is gonna eventually move down here and there's gonna be a board here, so I want to make sure I have plenty of wire left so that'll get cut down and tied it up as and when that bit happens. Got all the ledger batteries all plumbed in as well now, so let me show you that. Got all the engine boards off to show you. Right, rather 
pleased with myself with all this actually. So we've got the main starter battery and three ledger batteries, all wired in in series, and then taking off the positive and negative from opposite opposite sides to, to keep it nice and even. This is my split charging system. So let me just move a bit. So Come for an ordinary relay instead of a, a voltage sensitive one because it's got a, a Lissa SR2 engine it, it revs fairly low so it would take an awful lot of revving for it to switch over to start charging these batteries so gone for an ordinary relay has a, a, a um, earth wire that goes in and it also has uh, ignition live basically when I turn the ignition on it switches and will charge both as soon as I turn the ignition off it turns the switch off and it isolates the battery so if I run these down with all the lights and things, my starter batch will still be fully charged up. Also, as you can see, tidied all the wiring up so it looks all nice and neat and tidy. All cut and coated as well, that all then goes inside. These wires as well, so make it as neat as I possibly can. Um, I probably will put some sort of conduit around it at some point as well, but it's really important for me to keep it nice and neat and tidy. So, so far, so good. Really pleased with what we've done so far. Right, so I fitted the inverter as well now. So I've got these nice big thick cables coming in from the ledger batteries that go up to the buzz bar. Um, from the buzz bar they come down and they've got big, big fuses here. Now, I wasn't entirely sure what size fuses I needed to use. So on Facebook there's uh, a group called the 12 Volt Group who are ridiculously helpful. Um, so I spoke with them about that and got some guidance um, and fitted them. Now inside my cupboard, I have a lot of mess, but besides the mess, I have got my inverter. Now, this is a very small inverter. I know it's Chinese made. I know it's not gonna last very long, but it was literally what I brought to be able to test the system out. Once everything's done on the boat and I'm getting to the point that I can spend money on things like this, I will buy a proper inverter, but it's gonna be very, very rare to use. At the moment, the only thing we use it for is when I wanna plug the Hoover in, um, which is cordless anyway, um, or if I want to watch the telly. So it's not going to be used very often, um, but I will be upgrading that at some point. But I've got some real, I think it's 95 um, mil wiring here, um, just to make sure I can take the load and there's no problems. I've also fitted some plug sockets coming off the inverter. Um, this is roughly where they're going to go at the end. So but for now, I've just put it up against uh, a, a board. They'll be fitted in properly um, once the fit out's complete. Now, this is exactly where I want the TV to go so we can watch it from all different angles. I've literally just run the, the wires from the inverter. They will eventually go into a consumer box as I know that's what's supposed to happen. Um, I have also fitted a, a TV aerial now, uh, but I'll, I'll talk about that in another video. Another thing I wanted to do. Another thing I want to share with you is by just getting the kitchen and the bathroom kind of sorted out, from here you look down, it almost looks like a, a finished boat. Um, I say I've also made one last thing I want to show you, it's a bit of a prototype really, a bit of a prototype because I, I didn't like those horrible metal steps if you remember them. So I made these, now I only knocked them up quickly in the garden with some spare wood, so they're not going to be the permanent ones I use, I just want to kind of make some, see if I could make them, see if they worked, and they do. They're not quite straight how I want them and perfect, but I'm gonna buy, now I know I can do it, I'm gonna buy some better wood and knock some nicer ones up. It means not only is it easy getting it out because I'm tall, but I can also open the cupboards now to get into the cupboards. Um, oh, and we've got a new bath now, which is on the ground, not on the ground at the moment, because we're about to go, um, but a nice nautical one. See you again soon. <laughs> If you wanted any more information of what I've used or how I've done it, please leave some messages in the comments box. Um, but until next time, take care, please subscribe. We'll see you soon.